Welcome, friends. Welcome back to Sunday Morning and the Old Cookbook Show. Today, we're going to do another recipe out of the Borden New Magic in the Kitchen Cookbook. And we're going to do something called Brownies Number no. 2. So, in this bowl, I've already melted the chocolate. And to that, I need to add sugar. And I'm kind of amazed that there's sugar in this recipe because we're using condensed milk or sweetened condensed milk as it's sometimes called or it's usually called actually. Next in is the Eagle brand condensed milk. Now there's no, there's no butter in this recipe, uh, which is usually where the fat would come from. So all of the fat, I guess, comes from the milk. So we're going to get that in there and it's one can. Now in the book, it says that a can of Eagle Brand is a cup and a third, which is um, about 300 milliliters, 307 if you want to be exact, which means the 300 milliliter can that I get here in Toronto is just fine. So we're going to mix these together, get it all well incorporated. Okay, and a teaspoon of vanilla, and I'm just going to free pour that. It'll be okay. Don't have to measure everything. Mix that in. And then the last thing is baking powder and flour. So I throw the baking powder into the flour. Um, I know you're really supposed to mix it all together, but in this recipe, it's not really going to matter all that much. And we just toss it in. We start mixing this together. And at this point, uh, you could put in the walnut pieces. The recipe really does read like you just throw everything into the bowl and mix it all at once. So I don't think there's any right or wrong way to do this because it's magic. Now, it tells us to bake this in a seven inch tin lined with paraffin paper, um, which is wax paper. And I'm not sure how many people are going to have wax paper in their kitchen. Uh, we've got one roll stuffed way back in a cupboard somewhere. So I pulled it out and I'm going to use it. But realistically, you could use parchment paper. But you do need to line the pan. So we're going to transfer this into the pan. Okay, you just smooth out the top a little bit. And it's already setting up. It's kind of weird because this, um, it almost seems like a brownie fudge. It's not very liquidy. So this goes into a slow oven for half an hour. And as soon as we pull it out of the oven, we have to take it out of the pan and peel off the wax paper. Otherwise it'll stick and be a complete mess. So stick around and we'll do a tasting. Condensed milk. So Three quarters of a cup of flour. I was pretty optimistic when I put these into the oven, but they didn't work. Um, and I don't think I missed anything. Two thirds of a cup of sugar, three Got squares of chocolate. Yep. One and one third cup of can of condensed milk. Condensed milk, vanilla. Vanilla. Three quarters of a cup of flour. Flour. Baking powder. Baking powder. Some nuts. And some nuts. And so this was supposed to cook in a half an hour in a slow oven, which is 250 degrees Fahrenheit. It says. Um, but it it even after an hour, it never cooked. It's still really gooey, and somehow it smells like cinnamon. <sighs> yeah, it does smell like cinnamon. Um. Maybe it needed more flour? I don't know. Okay. But I, I, I'm, I'm surprised there's no, like, there's no butter in it. <laughs> like, it's usually that butter-sugar butter, combination that, that that's what kind of nope, no, pulls everything together, not an egg. No, there's no egg. Okay. I don't even know. Should I try it? I, okay, I'm going to take this little crunchy bit. Um, this is just an interlude. I'm going to give it another go. So I'm going to mix up another batch, and we'll try it again. It even tastes like cinnamon. Yeah. Not quite right. Maybe it's not magic after all.
All right, my friends, and Glenn. Version four. Version four. Version four. So... I don't even know if it worked yet. It is better it than It is the last... better? Yes, okay. I mean, it's not running. It came out of the pan. So the, f the first one, I made it exactly like it said in the, in the recipe. I cooked it for the amount of time that it said in the recipe, and it wasn't anywhere close to being done. So I cooked it longer. Yes. And you still saw what happened. Yeah, it was not. <laughs> it was not great. Came back for version two, and I cooked it at a higher temperature. Oh, okay. Didn't Still work. No okay. Version three, I cooked it at the temperature in the recipe, and I increased the flour a little bit, and it got better. Version four, um, <laughs> instead of using three quarters of a cup of flour like it says here, and that's three quarters of a cup, an American cup. Okay. I went to a full Canadian cup, which is bigger than an American cup. Okay. And I think... You think? That cup of flour... I mean, it looks, makes the difference. It looks better. And they were completely right. You had to, as soon as you took it out of the oven, you had to dump it out of the pan and pull the paper off. Otherwise, the paper would stick. It would stick in the pan. It would just, it just became a mess. Okay. It's weird, but I like it. It's weird because of the you don't usually put condensed milk in it. And I think the condensed milk still makes it um, really soft and chewy in yeah. a way that brownies normally aren't. It's a lot more like uh, other types of squares, like, uh, I can't even think of any, like Millionaire Bars yeah. or something of those that style or type. So if you're looking for a, a cakier brownie, this is not it. If you're looking for a super chewy brownie, this is a super chewy brownie. I might have laid off on the walnuts a little bit, or put in a nut that I actually enjoy, like a pecan. Okay. Weird, but it works. Mm-hmm. Lots of chewing to do. Mm-hmm. In that case. Okay. Try it. Try the recipe, but you need to put in a Canadian cup, which is... 250 milliliters. I'm assuming you're going to adjust the recipe and say what the final recipe is. So in the written recipe below yeah. in, the in the description box, I'll note the, the changes. Um, but that's, that, I mean... If you can think, of, if you experiment with it and find other ways to um, finesse it and make it even better, mm -hmm. put it in the notes, let us know. But that is, I mean, that's part of cooking. Yeah. Um, you know, you... You find a recipe and you need to make adjustments because it doesn't always work. Thanks for stopping by. See you again soon.